How's it fellow sci-fi enthusiasts? I'm Silent J with Surf Trek Tonics. In this video expedition we will take a deep dive into the Expanse universe to examine what the geography of Earth looks like in the 24th century with a combined population of 27 billion. Focusing on the United Nations North America trade zone, coastlines, and urban landscapes. Over 300 years in the future, climate change has increased the sea levels by 5 meters due to polar ice caps and glacier melting drastically affecting megacities off the shorelines. This orbital schematic depicts coastal regions inundated with ocean flooding. Louisiana swatches of Florida and Carolinas are underwater along with oceanfront inland valleys in the Gulf of Mexico and eastern seaboards. By the year 2325 sea levels have risen nearly one and a half inches per year causing massive engineering endeavors like never before attempted in human history, building artificial islands and seawalls, saving critical infrastructure bordering the ocean in a series of construction phases over two centuries in the megacities of Boston, New York City, Baltimore, D.C., Miami, and Florida are saved with sea barriers while other population zones migrated and were relocated further inland. Using New York City as an example, we can see Manhattan and the Hudson River Valley is protected by seawalls with large levee barricades further out off the New York Harbor. Seven phases of monumental engineering produce layers of ocean barriers slowly draining the water levels as the sections are completed over 200 years starting inward and spanning out towards the larger harbor mouths. As the projects unfold, a massive artificial island is formed, leveling the underwater harbor surface to support the heavy structures and levee barricade networks. Similar projects unfold in other major East Coast population centers with the largest sea works taking place in Florida. Lunar rocks were towed from craters to Earth orbit and lowered on space elevators to maintain the new Florida reclamation zone delivering tens of thousands of tons of moon rock to build the largest artificial support island on the planet resting in the Florida Peninsula. On the west coast, the San Angeles Greater Megalopolis spans giant seawalls from the southern San Diego to San Francisco. The California coast endured less coastal inundation with the majority of water funneled into the Central Valley settling in Sacramento and Fresno regions causing the inhabitants to relocate over a century to other megacities. Alaska received significant ocean valley saturation as the mountainous coastline channeled the rising water levels into the flat stretches of lowland terrain runoffs. The other continents sustained equal levels of flooding as the sea levels rose 5 meters across the globe with other numerous ocean barrier networks protecting critical coastal population zones. Now, the population of the North America trade zone in the year of 2325. Currently, the world population is 7.8 billion. Three centuries from now, the United Nations population rises to 27 billion. Currently, there are 368.9 million people living in North America. The Expanse timeline contains 1.15 billion humans on the same continent. This satellite view of the Yukon displays massive population zones in the Pacific Northwest as the climate has adjusted to be more hospitable with warm air Pacific currents tracking further north due to climate shifts. Today we have 30 megacities worldwide with populations between 10 to 15 million. The Expanse Earth has clusters of megacities to form megapolis with 50 to 100 million people and over 100 of these megapolis or nation cities span the globe. Examining North America from the Expanse, we can see heavy concentration of nation cities along the eastern seaboard stretching up to Nova Scotia and Quebec. The Midwest has three more and stretching like a continental snake of city lights up the west coast with more in Mexico and Central America. Climate control, weather modifications, synthetic crops, and artificial agriculture of the expanse earth biosphere habitat. The Mars Congressional Republic has terraforming towers that emit concentrated gases to form an atmosphere. 
this technology originated through the United Nations scientific institutions. Additionally, Earth will have the capacity to modify the climate and weather patterns to delay global warming of the 23rd century to maintain the extensive seawall network, slowing further glacier melting so the ocean will not further displace populations living amidst the protection of these coastal barriers around the world. To feed 27 billion people, agriculture of the 24th century will be extremely advanced. Synthetic and genetically engineered crops grow in harsh weather conditions along with enhanced harvest per yield. Herbitable protein farms and climate controlled structures span large swaths of land along with ultra advanced growth technology a thousand fold to that of modern day. So there you have it ladies and gentle nerds, a deep dive into the Expanse realistic sci-fi series that devotes precise attention to scientific extrapolation of what things will be like a few centuries into the future. This attention to detail is what makes this show so great. And the accuracy devoted to Earth's geography and population of such precise portrayal even in background content makes The Expanse the best sci-fi series on the airwaves. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Have a great breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, evening, afternoon, or whatever corner of the globe you stay. Peace out. Have a good one.